Master of Affinity with the love of Pokemon, I challenge the... No. Understood. I mean, I did save my game, so if anything bad happens, I can just reset. Is that like regional variant Seawall? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Rejuvenation Nuzlocke. <clears throat> Excuse me. Previously, we took on our very first gym in this game, which was against Venom. And Melia told us she wanted us to meet with her here in the Golden Wood Forest, I believe is what it's called. So we're following her here. Um... One of the things that I thought about doing was, like, going and potentially grinding up my team. Because we did get a new uh, level cap. Because there are level caps in this game. Um, our first one being, I think it was 18 was the highest we can go. Now we can go up to level 25. And the thing is, with levels, or experience in the, this game, I should say... Um, if you hit 25, you stop getting, like, for example, with us having the one badge right now, if we hit 25, we'll just stop getting experience. It's not like Reborn, where if you went to 26, they would, like, disobey you. No, you would just stop getting experience at level 25. So, that's, I think that's a method I prefer a little bit more than, um, what we had to deal with in Reborn. But, let's go ahead and get a move on. Deary, could you do me a solid favor? My precious Furfurus wander off and gotten itself lost in the forest. I'd go and look for the fellow, but these bones aren't what they used to be. Thank you, Deary. My precious Furfur will be lost forever without you. One of the things I want to do is potentially... I need to see these quests again. So, lost girl... Get an EXP candy, okay. I'm trying to see if any of these quests expire. They don't. So, catching it to Dene, find the lost girl. There's a wish, a wish mirror over here. We do need to get our first encounter here in the Goldenwood Forest, which I wouldn't mind a halfway decent grass type, I think. This is definitely different, though, compared to what we saw before. I've got a PETA flying around. I don't know if I'm cut out for this Pokemon trainer stuff. My Pokemon didn't last five minutes in the forest. Hey, man. Stuff happens. Got the TM for Quash. Ew. I don't even know if that's good at all. All right, let's see what our first encounter is. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it's something decent. You know what? I'm like, ninety percent sure that there's Mega Evolution in this game. So I won't be against a Pidgey. I would have preferred something else, though. Because we already have, because we already have a flying type here. Like we don't need another one. All right. Oh, you can encounter him. Level 18. Mm. 
But Unpheasant isn't great. I haven't used Unpheasant in a long time, but Unpheasant isn't really that great. Okay, so that's locked. So we can go back here, which is actually nice because I don't think we need to... I don't think we need to worry about paying now because Tesla kind of covered that for us. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Pidgey in the box because I don't want... Um, one of the crucial things about us playing the Nuzlocke, the style we are, is having stuff in the box for backup. Like, these are our first two deaths, um, obviously, and you always kind of want... You don't want to lose your entire team necessarily, but you got to understand that stuff happens. Um, and there's no guarantee with how this game goes that uh, we keep uh, a good team for as long as we do. Just really depends on how the cookie crumbles. All right, so back so this is route one this is even goldenwood forest so that means there's gonna be another encounter we can get here very soon which i'll take i probably should have healed up here but it's fine and we didn't we did get some exp candies too from um that one breeder that we fought on top of the hotel so i almost want to give i almost want to give these candies to give you one how much is that gonna get you up to 16 i mean we might as well give you these candies trying to learn sludge yes i will take that instead of smog because smoke screen could be crucial assurance is good for coverage for right now and then i'll give donatello the last one for right now he's trying to learn smoke screen doesn't need it don't need it for you buddy I don't know if we keep getting EXP candies if we battle that breeder up there. If we do, that'd be very good for us. We made it. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Okay, so here's what's going on. My dad sent me here so I could finish investigating the ruins back in Goldenwood Cave, but I'm really interested in doing is investigating the butterflies of fate. Yeah, so there are rumors of Vivian with translucent crystal blue wings. They're extremely rare and people seldom people seldom see them well anywhere. But there have been reports of sighting in this area. I just have to get a picture for them from my scrapbook. Alright, so we can explore the forest first, or we can head directly into the cave. I've been here numerous times before, so I'll leave that up to you, okay? Oh! This sucks, though, because she's going to try to kill our first encounter. What are you doing here? Please refrain from walking around in this area. You'll crush my flowers if you do. I don't necessarily want to run into a sentry. Or do I want to try to catch something in the water? It might seem like a silly idea to try to get a magic carp, but I have my reasons for it. Okay. What does she got? Baneri? Oh, shiny Baneri. Okay. Um, not. Okay, good thing he protected. Because the Spupa is actually what I want. Nope, I just quick attacked the wrong guy. No, no, no. Okay. That's what I wanted to happen. Good. I actually don't mind using a Vivian because Vivian is low-key one of the best early game bugs uh, you can 
get. Dude, I don't want to waste my Ultra Ball on it, though, to be honest. Yes! Awesome! And it's fully healed as well. Lonely nature, that's not, uh, it's not gonna help us at all. It's also not gonna help us that we don't have any attacking moves. Today's gonna be my day. The day for what? Just last week I saw something with glowing red eyes in the lake here. I managed to catch it with my hook, but reeling it up has been nearly impossible. And today's the day you're gonna finally fish it up. You got that right, little lady, but I need materials for a better lure. I can't leave this spot, so I'm kind of in a pickle. Let me guess, you're about to ask us to retrieve the said materials for you. Oh, would you? it mean the world to this old fisherman's heart. What do you say, Razor Plant? Today's your day. Let's gather materials, why not? I knew you two wouldn't do me wrong. So, about these materials, what do you need? If you head up the slope and over the bridge, there are black apricorns you can find on the ground. I need about three or so for my lure. You got it. Three black apricorns on the duffel. So does Spupa evolves into Vivion at 12, I think. So do I want to lead with it and let it get it that experience? Probably wouldn't hurt. I actually have no idea which way I need to be going. Oh, we found the fur furrow. This is the missing fur fruit. Send the fur fruit back to the old lady. Oh, is this fur fruit lost? Here, we'll just show it the way home. Just so you go that way then. You should make sure the fur fruit got all back all right. Is she gonna stay with us? Oh, she is gonna stay with us. Awesome. Deary, thank you for finding my darling Furfuru. Thank you so much. Now that we're together again, I'll think we'll head home shortly. Furfuru, what do we say to this nice trainer? Bark Bork, that's right. And a great ball. I will take that. Hopefully she takes better care of that Furfuru, but something she tells me she she won't. Listen, Melia. I agree. As much as we are kind and helpful people for rescuing that lady's dog, she needs to be better at watching it. You made me lose my concentration. That feels weird that you're rocking level sevens here. I mean, I guess it's still really freaking early, so. So the reason why I was thinking about catching the Magikarp was literally Intimidate Fodder. Um, like getting it to evolve to a Gyarados because if we have access to battling that breeder as many times as we want. Oh, I should have went. I should have went with the Yanma to get something different. I should have went with the Yanma to get something different. So, here's, I guess here's something that I should, I guess ask out of sheer curiosity. So, 
Are we gonna count overworld Pokemon as static encounters? And here's here's my thing. I think we can. And it's not necessarily because I want to just catch Yanma and you know use something different. As much as I was thought I'm not using uh, Vivian here. It's in the overworld, right? And statics are like special encounters. I say we get to catch one. I say we get the ability to catch one because it's in the overworld, right? Because like the Nidorans that we've seen, as long as we get Poke Snacks, we can go and catch those guys. They're static encounters. Um, the Pit of. If I really wanted to go back and catch that, I could be a static encounter. I, th I think it would be fair to do that. I think it would be fair if we did that. I would ideally like to get a... My boy's got Silverwind? Or my girl, sorry. And it got the Omni Boost. Ooh. So here's the tricky thing, right? And it's got speed. Maybe the tricky thing is don't worry about it and catch the damn thing. So I got an Omni Boost. It has speed boost as well, which is pretty good. I know Yan Mega is pretty fragile, but. I mean, both of its abilities would have been good. Tinted Lens or uh, Speed Boost. Speed Boost may be better, but right now we got a super fast team, super fast team. And plus, never really get the chance to use the Mega. Never really get the chance to, so. I'm absolutely okay with this. Docile nature, which doesn't hurt at all. Um, doesn't help it in the slightest, but it has silver wind, which is a good thing to have because that means we have a bug and we have a flying type move early. Which, again, I was saying earlier, like when we caught the Pidgey, we now have, we now have another thing we can put in the box. Oh, Mila. Hi. Hey, Melia. Did you find a new friend? Yeah, we're just doing, just doing some field research again. Raise a plant. This is Bark. He's a little strange, but he's friendly, though. Being strange is the only way to be. Anyway, you guys have fun. I'm going to finally catch a Yama today. Good luck with that, Bart. I've been saying that for the past few weeks. Hey, Amen. Sometimes our goals take a little bit longer than we would have liked. Oh, I didn't know you could... I wonder if you can run into... I wonder if you can run into the sentry, or do you have to press A on it? I don't know. But I knew you were gonna go for protect. Yep, they got that Poochiana. And this gets buffed in this, uh, this field, which is nice. I shouldn't have used all those EXP candies on uh, the coughing. I just need to be—I just need to be careful. That's the main thing: is just be careful. Oh my gosh, the damage! The damage is insane. No level up? What? That's kind of crazy, actually. Ooh, I'm lost. I took the wrong turn, and now I don't know where I am. Hey, we can bring you back to the station. Grandpa, where are you? Your grandpa asked us to look for you. Please let us help you. Oh, okay, I'll follow you. I didn't mean to run in. Like, how, how did I run into that one? I don't know, because he's in the air.
Okay, so the fisherman there leads me to believe that that's the way we're supposed to go, so... We gotta go back to the station. Is she gonna follow us all the way back to the station? Nope, she's gonna wait there for us. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember what we get for doing this. You found my granddaughter. I can't believe it. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Yes. That's so good for me because I wanted to have those for the Yanma. Level 12. Trying to learn double team. Does Jan Mega get baton pass? I don't know if it does. Aerial Ace? I don't know if you're much of a physical attacker. I'm gonna give it to you instead of Foresight. I'm actually gonna give an XP candy to you so you can evolve. Because like I said, Vivian is pretty good. And now that we're back here, I actually can deposit. I can deposit it off in the PC box. That's a pretty design for Vivian. I wonder if they went out of their way to make like custom designs in, in this game. Because there's already a bunch of Vivian patterns as it is. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure there's like... It's either 12 or 16. I don't remember off the top of my head. But go ahead and put you in the PC box. I feel like I'm playing X and Y with having a Pidgey and a Vivian this early. When we have a Frogadier and a Fletchender. Are we playing X and Y, guys, or are we playing Rejuvenation? Not a clue. All right. Now we should make some storyline progress. Our Yanma is now level 15, which is good. Um, I think we can get another encounter inside the cave. If we can get a rock type, if we can get a rock type, that'd be awesome. I see two different ways we can go. Did you get for getting walking in the middle of a battle, idiot? Your Pokemon took damage? Ow. I mean, Melia is gonna heal him up anyways, so. So I wonder if you can come back here and surf and get something. Maybe up there. Alright, so if we're going into a cave, we are going to be smart about this and not lead with our Yanma because that's just asking for him to get gut. Okay, static encounter, side arc two. He's got a rainbow aura around him. Wait, I just realized something. I actually don't know if we're gonna be able to catch this guy. Let's not worry about it for right now. Because I remember in the previous episode, we caught a Trubbish. Um, in Venom's gym that had that rainbow aura around it and we don't even have it in our party or not our party our PC box oh hey razor plant sorry for the abrupt interruption uh, but there's something I gotta say it is in your best interest to know once we get to the to the ruins 
we may be there for a little bit. So if there's any unfinished business out in the forest, I advise you to take care of it right away. Okie dokie, that's all I wanted to say. Oh, there was a ledge there. I was like, ooh. Now, people are gonna look at me like I'm crazy. I want the Geodude. I want the Geodude here. Because a rock type will fit pretty well with this team. Because fire, rock hurts a couple of my team members. Um, grass typing will be able to handle pretty well. I think a rock type would be perfect. Um, we doesn't look like we'll be able to do a Lolan because it's a, it's a regular Geodude, which is fine. Which is fine. Now, my concern is... Do I lick the Geodude to try to get a paralysis, or do I just try to catch it? I don't want to risk it, because this is our first encounter, like our actual encounter. If it was a static, I'd be a little bit more willing to risk it, I guess. Ooh, magnitude. Yeesh. That might hurt. Never mind, that was a crit. It's a rock. Came from the crumbling ceiling. Oh, it, it's gonna be one of these terrains, isn't it? Yes! Okay, now if this thing has sturdy, that will be even better. If this guy has sturdy, I'm gonna name it No Neck because. He, he, he's got no neck. He's he's a floating head. Perky. Sandbill. Fuck. That's not a good ability for it. What other ability? Does it? Does the entire gold mine get sand, sandbill? I would have never guessed that. If I'm being honest, I would have never guessed that. I'm also keeping my eyes peeled for a uh, potential shiny Pokemon, because I'm gonna guess that a bunch of them have custom shinies in this game. Um, we don't have the HM for Rock Smash, do we? No, Poison Sweep? What is this? Engulfs their foot with poison and proceeds to knock over their opponent, may lower their speed. This is crucial though, because with Donatello, we can change our typings. It may lower speed. Okay, so it's a 50 base power attack that is a physical move. I mean, that's obviously gonna be better than Bubble because I'm pretty sure we have a neutral nature with Donatello. No, we have Lax. So it doesn't affect attack or special attack necessarily, but our special attack is a little bit better now. I still think it's a smart idea to take that instead of having bubble because we're going to click water pulse like every time there's a lot of psyducks over here there's also a lady up there which i don't know if i'm willing to go and fuck around and deal with my game right now because what the hell is going on there greeting trainers i am mars first member of the colvier clan i'm the master of affinity with the love of pokemon i challenge the no understood i mean i did save my game so if anything bad happens i can just reset Is that like regional variant seawaddle? It's not weak to poison, okay. Is it a dragon type?
Swaddle them. Um, is this gonna be actually something I can beat? It's got Intimidate. Camouflage. Transforms into a rock type. Okay. I don't think that gets affected here. Especially because I can go for Sonic Boom. Scale Shot. I mean, you can raise your speed all you want. If I can get the Omni Boost, that would be epic. I don't know what to do here, though. Well, 17, that's insane that we're running into this, though. Slash, how much did I do? Actually, doesn't do that much. That does good damage, I'm okay with that. And we should have plenty of healing items, too, for this. Yeah, we have 10 soda pops, which heals 50. So I can take another slash here. And then we just heal next turn. My Pokemon and I are humble. I've invested in battle, and thus I reward you with the symbol of defeat. A Star Shard. In addition to that, I would like to give you this as a symbol of our friendship. Oh my god! We get the regional variant Sea Waddle! Is Avium Avian? Avian Sea Waddle? Um. I don't even know what to. I'm just gonna name it Unique. Good luck with your journey. Thanks. What the hell, Sea Waddle? What is this? Bug and Dragon. Quiet Nature, Unnerve. Interesting. That makes you wonder. Like. If, I mean, obviously I would assume that there's regular like sea waddle and everything like that. I'm putting this, this in the PC box. I don't know about you guys. I would much rather keep that in the PC box because we already have a bug type. It's got the dragon typing too, um, which I don't, I'm not saying that Lee Vanny is horrible. I've never been the biggest fan of it because I always thought there was kind of like better bug types, especially with the fact that, you know, grass bug is comfortably one of the worst typings in the entire game. But now that it doesn't have that, it makes it a lot better. It gives it something different. A new niche, a new usage one might say and i think i would like to have the chance to do uh, to use that at some point i may need to do some research and obviously see how this thing evolves because i know when it goes to swadloon normally it's by level then with levani i'm pretty sure it's friendship or is it the other way around no i'm pretty sure it's the way the first way i said i don't know i never really used it there's another bug in our PC box, though. Do they share the same weaknesses? I think they share an ice weakness. They share ice weakness and rock. And flying. Yeah, it's pretty much sharing a lot of the same weaknesses. Mm, I think we keep it there for right now. Because it's something different, right? That's crazy, though. 
that was definitely not there the first time we played this um, last year. Do we still, can we still not go down here? I still can't go down there just yet. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure, at least in the f first time we played this game, we could go down there and they had M Muna down there. And I have a soft spot in my heart for Muna and Musharna, especially if you've watched our um, White 2 Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. We had a Musharna in that game that... Musharna normally is like okay. It's, one of, it's like an okay psychic type, but in my Extreme Randomizers, I like to randomize the typings. So this Musharna had a Ghost and Flying typing, which means it had three immunities of ground, fighting normal. Those, it was what it was immune to. And it had Volt Absorb. So this thing had four immunities. It was stupid how good that thing was. And there was actually a point in that series where, where I ran alongside the game with uh, two of them. Because I didn't really have much else in my PC box that was good in terms of like typing. So I ran along with two of them because if they have four immunities, like, why would you not do that? Well, hold up, Razor Plant. Take a look over there. This isn't a phenomenon that's common outside of Avium, but do you know what prison Pokemon are? No. In that case, check this report of them I've written up. Prison Pokemon are an aggressive type of Pokemon that can be found in the wild. They are identified by a colorful aura. When found, do not approach unless prepared. These guys can be tough to handle. When fought in battle, these Pokemon activate their aura that surrounds them. As a result, their stats are raised. Oddly enough, when they when caught, they can be found holding an object called a black prism. Is there a connection? That neat arena is blocking a, the mural at the ruins we're trying to investigate. We're going to have to knock it out. But you just said we can... We could catch it. Did she not say that? Or do we have to knock it out first? I'm so confused. Oh, we've already been over there. Okay, so then. I'm assuming we're working together, right? We are not working together. Is in a wild rage. Okay. Oh, it's faster than me. Because of the because of the speed buff. That's crazy. We need to be careful here. I think what I'm gonna do, low key. I'm gonna swap into my coffin. Because I don't know if Nidorino can really do much to coughing. Can I clear smog it to get rid of its stats or no? And can I catch it? Okay, you can't catch it right now. Maybe you catch it afterwards. So I went for focus energy, which obviously was gonna be a little bit scary. That neat arena is a little special, but it has the spirit. But now for the mural. These are the ruins I've been investigating for weeks now. It's hard to decipher what it looks like, but currently it has a few interpretations. The blocky bits on the side resemble buildings, and the circle in the center looks like the sun. It also has the ancient letters from the Garufa civilization scattered across. Do you know about the Garufa civilization? Yes and no. Wow, you've only been here for a little while, but you already know that much? I'm impressed. But isn't that what's strange, though? It 
If this mural was made by Garufians, then these blocky parts can't be buildings. Their technology has not given them the opportunity to build such structures. I believe the secret lies within the message written on the wall. The text itself is an ancient language and is completely unreadable. Until today, that is. My dad took all, all the pictures I've taken of this place and wrote an algorithm to decode the message. All I have to do now is take three new snapshots and upload it to the database. Let's get started. Say cheese razor plant. Did you get my good side? Did you get me going like? Oh yeah, I got your good side. Don't worry about that. Well, anyway, I have to upload the pictures to the database and have the algorithm do its thing. About an hour later, it's done decoding the message. I got it. Here's what the message said when it was fully decoded. The light within the belly of our our boroughs shall never cease, lest the faint flames be doused by the will of the suffering. Um, I think the ancients needed a day off, and maybe some therapy. A part of the mural has collapsed, but why? We didn't even touch it. There's a whole other part of the cave back here. Original plan, I just think we came across a huge discovery. This is so exciting, let's investigate right away. Well, that's what we're gonna do in the next episode, so... If you guys did enjoy this episode of Rejuvenation, make sure you hit that like button down below, because it'd be greatly appreciated. Next episode, we're gonna see what's in this uh, other part of the cave, um, behind the mural. Um, it's crazy that we've played... This is episode six. I played like about four, a little over four hours, and there's already so much different stuff going on than we saw the first time we played this game. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, explore. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like I said, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and other stuff that I've been doing on the channel. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you want to check out the links to socials, we got uh, X, TikTok, and a link to our community Discord if you want to check out any of that stuff. You are more than welcome to. Again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.